All right, everybody, we are going to do something I think is pretty easy, but a pretty cool thing to do when it comes to playing team games. So I've got a one on one at the moment because I've only got two computers to really test with. The other player is over there. Just above them is a billboard that shows how many eliminations they have. And then above me is the eliminations that I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a headshot on this character over here and they're out and then you can see up here we have one elimination when they finally get eliminated out of the game and the same works for the other side if i were to go to my laptop and i'm just going to take the shot now and we can see that we are eliminated on the screen and when we pick up in here when we respawn we can grab our uh, weapon and uh, and take a look and you can see that team one has one limbs let's learn how to do this how to put the team score not just the player score but the team score up onto the screen in a visible way to everybody okay we are inside of uafn now and i'm going to help you understand the layout of this horseshoe island template that i have modified i've got two towers here one on one side and one on the other <laughs> it's 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 the sailors versus the army i don't know anyway so we've got a spawn pad there and if we look a little bit up here we can see we've got our billboard for team one and the billboard for team two is above that tower and a spawn pad here for team two the only other things that we kind of need in here are our verse device which lives here. We've got an item grinder that gives us a weapon to start with and a score manager to manage the score and get the score values from so that we can show them up in the billboards above the towers. Let's take a look at the verse file that's making all of this happen. Okay, so like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, this is very easy and it's a great start. If you don't know how to use verse, this is a great start to it, but also check out the tutorial in the link below for a longer tutorial on how to do a lot of verse stuff. Very beginnings. Okay, so we've got our game game manager when you create this over in the verse explorer we would just right click add a new verse file to project blah 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 i think you guys already know how to do that so i'm not going to cover it in this one if not again the link below okay so we've got three editables the editables are the billboard devices the team one scoreboard team two scoreboard and then we have our score manager device as i showed you previously and these are required because we need to talk to them with verse so we make them editables so that way when we go into the device that is sitting down here we can see in our details panel we've got our three items to hook up okay with that out of the way we are going to make an array that we're going to fill up with the teams now now, something to keep in mind is array is that arrays are immutable which means that we can't change how many values are in an array but we can change the whole array so we just instantiate it here because we want to be able to use it in our code and this is how you do it variable because we want to change it it's not a constant call it teams call it whatever you want and these two square brackets mean it's a variable type and inside of that is going to be a team object which is a fortnite predefined object and that's an array string the message you need this copy this somewhere you're going to use this all over the place in your code because billboards require that you make a message up to put any values inside of them so this is simple it just takes a string and uh, turns it into a message so on begin we're going to set the teams up the teams object up to the get play space get team collection and get teams and this is just a method that you call that's already predefined and fortnite gives back a teams array so all of the teams that exist in this game are going to now live in this array here we're going to need that so then we're going to spawn check team scores so essentially what we're doing is we're doing a loop and this is a fine way to do it it takes very little memory of any sorts and you can really customize this as well so we don't have to listen to an event we are just going to loop and keep on checking 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 to do that we have to have the suspends on here because we spawned it and it's going to have a delay with a delay of five seconds we could shorten this actually because we noticed how there was a little bit of a delay before the count showed up we could shorten it down to one if you wanted to i can't remember why i put five in here to be honest turn it down to one or point one and it would just keep on going really quickly so then we're going to temporarily save team one score and team two score as zero because we want to count them up so to do that we're going to go through all of the players in the game to do that we get the play space and then we get players now ideally in a more refined game we're going to make a player's map and we would go through that custom made player's map but in this case we can just go through all the players that are in the game that fortnite sees as in the game so we do that with a loop here for every player that's in the players object 
object that we set up here. If player team, so we're going to try to get the player team of the player. So it'll get play space, get team collection, get team of the player. So in square brackets, we'll go the player object that we just defined here. For loops are very common, definitely learn how to use them. Then we want to get the agent of that player. And you could put this a comma, you could put a comma here and then copy this over. I personally like to separate out my if statements because that allows me to print logs better, but it's up to you. So then we want to get the agent because we have to pass into the score manager device an agent object. So we get that by just casting the player to an agent object like this. Because it's in square brackets, we have to wrap it in an if statement because it is a failable um, function. So if player team equals teams zero, so the first, so we get we get an array and that's always in order. So whatever's in that teams object, we're going to find the first one, which is zero, second one is one, so on and so forth. So everybody that's on the first team, team one, team index one, when you go to set your teams in your I islands or your team collections and stuff like that. We're going to get the first one. We're going to say, hey, set the team score plus equals. And then we call that score manager device. And we say, hey, can you give me the score of this dude here on this team? We just want to add it to the team one score. And then else if player team is on team two, which is the second item in the array, which is arrays are counted from zero, one, two, three. Very normal, by the way, get used to that. If you're not, then just add that in. And then we want to go to the billboard and say, yo, can you please show how much each team has scored? So we set that up with the string to message. Remember up here, we have that string to message function that we need to call because the billboards take a message, not just a string, string to message. And uh, we set up team one colon, and then we use these squiggly or curly brackets to show a variable value. So team one score set up here, right? We want to show that here as a string. So we'll convert it to a string and then convert it to a message to then show inside of the billboard. We do that for both of them. And then we sleep for a second and do it again one more time and again and again until the game's over. And that's it. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. So hopefully that's been helpful. In the next tutorial about this kind of topic, I'm going to show this stuff in the HUD, in the heads up display for each player. That's a little bit more involved. This one is much easier and it's very useful, I think. So hopefully that's been helpful. Any questions, hit me up below. Subscribe, like, all that kind of business. I'll see you guys in the next one.